Reporter Ben Bulos was on the scene in Salford for BBC Breakfast on Friday morning taking a look at the rising cost of fruit and veg as the cost of living crisis continues to cause issues for families up and down the country. However, his report was quickly cut short when BBC co-stars Naga Munchetti and Charlie State realised he was having sound issues. Ben's mic began to drop out during his BBC report on supermarket costs on Friday morning. He appeared outside the BBC breakfast studios with crates of fruit and veg to explain how much prices had risen over the last year. Unfortunately, the rest of his report had to be interrupted by Naga when the audio became distorted. Okay, Ben, she cut across him. We're having a little bit of a problem with your audio there. Naga went on to assure viewers the program would return to his segment later in Friday's show. She continued, what we're going to do. Ben's taken us through the veg, and he's about to take us through the other bits he's going to go through as well. He's going to take a closer look at the cost of living with various guests this morning. And the issues, in terms of following that survey we did at the BBC, about issues that people are facing and how they're changing their lifestyles in order to be able to cope with the rising costs. So we'll get more from Ben at half past eight, Naga then confirmed. In his interrupted segment, Ben began to explain recent comments from Tesco warning of an even greater price hike in the coming months. It just reflects the pressures people are facing, he said. The boss of Tesco said, as a supermarket, they've seen a change in customer behavior. They don't know how long food prices will stay as high as they are or continue rising. They've seen, for example, people are going more often but buying less each time. Perhaps people are just waiting for the next paycheck to come in order to be able to do their shop. A BBC commissioned survey has now confirmed the crisis has forced Britons to cut back on food and travel, and has had a noticeable impact on mental health. More than half, 56%, of 4,011 asked confirmed they had been buying fewer groceries, and the same number had skipped meals to keep their costs down. Many others confirmed they had cut down on buying clothes and socialising, with two-thirds claiming government support was sufficient. Ben later returned to the show to speak to locals who revealed more personal struggles with the rising cost of food.